welcome to my channel and here i will be showing you how you can draw the front elevation and the uh, plan of an oblique uh, hexagonal pyramid how you can draw the front elevation and the plan of an hexagonal oblique pyramid and i'm going to uh, also develop or make the service development of that uh, pyramid so let's look at how this can be done so what we need to do first is to construct the hexagonal base of the uh, pyramid so i'm going to draw a horizontal center line here like this all right so then having drawn the horizontal center line so the next thing i'm going to do uh, before i draw the center line or the vertical center line so i will take my compass so let's say the uh the distance across corner is 60 so we just take half of 60 that is 30 millimeters so to draw uh, a circle all right so we take 30 millimeters that is half of 60 which is distance across corners given so we put it at this point and we draw a circle so we draw a circle like this so with the radius that we used to construct this circle so we put it at this point and make an arc here and make an arc here and then we put it at this point here so we make an arc here and also we make an arc down here okay so i'm going to number this point on this circle so this will be my point one this is point two this is point three this is point four this is point five and this is point six okay so i'm going to connect uh this point together to get an hexagon so i'll connect this together like this and then i'll connect this together Also, I'll connect this together. Then I'll connect this together. Okay, so for these two parts, I'm going to connect them together partially. I will tell you the reason why I need to uh, connect this together partially. So I'll just use my uh, red pen to draw that. Alright, so now. The next thing that we are going to do is to go on and then we are going to um, so we go up a little bit above the plan that we have drawn and we draw a horizontal line like this then from point one I will draw a vertical line to meet the horizontal line like this and from point six here I will draw a vertical line to meet the horizontal line. Also from point 0.5, I will draw a vertical line to meet the horizontal line. From point 0.4, I will draw a vertical line to meet the horizontal line. So, and then, before I continue, I need to get the midpoint. So, the midpoint, so this should be 60 millimeters. So, this is 60 millimeters here. So, half of 60 is 30. So, we have this point here as the midpoint. So, the next thing I'm going to do here is that one thing about an oblique uh, pyramid or an oblique cone whether it's oblique cone or oblique pyramid is that the uh the center line is at an angle to the horizontal what i mean by that is that the angle can be angle it will be less than 90. so if you if you are asked to draw a right pyramid or a right cone it means the center line of that cone or of that pyramid is at a right angle or is at uh, angle 90 degree to the horizontal but when it comes to oblique pyramid or oblique cone so the center line is always at an angle less than 90 so it can be angle 30 angle 45 angle 60 or 75 or even if it is 89 it is, it is still an acute angle or angle less than 90 degrees so i'm going to make the center line to be at an angle 60 degree to the horizontal so i'll take my 60 degree set square like this and draw a center line that will go in this direction so this is it all 
All right, so that is the center line that I have here. So the next thing that I'm going to do is to get the height of the pyramid. So if you want to get the height of the pyramid, you cannot take the measurement along this line. That's not going to work. So though uh, in the exam, or the question can be framed in different way, but the ones that I've seen is that we need to take the height of the pyramid as I'm going to show you here now. So here I will extend this horizontal line. Then I'm going to draw a vertical line here. Just move away a little bit and draw a vertical line like this. Okay, so on this vertical line, I'm going to take the measurement of the height. So let's say the height is uh, 70 millimeters. So the height is 70 millimeters. So I'll just take 70 from here. So this is 70 millimeters on this vertical line. So we we'll now transfer it. We we'll now transfer it to this side to meet the uh, center line. So, so I can just draw a horizontal line from here just to meet the center line. So the next thing that I'm going to do is that I'm going to connect this point. So this is a complete uh, hexagonal uh, oblique pyramid. So this line will be a thick line because this is a corner. And also I will connect this line point also. I will connect it with the apex. That's the apex of the uh, pyramid. Then I will also connect this point together with the apex of the pyramid like this. Then the last one is this. I will also connect it to the apex of the pyramid like this. Alright, so the base, I need to make it thick. So this is it. Alright, so this is how the front elevation of an, hexag of an hexagonal pyramid will look if, it, if the base is positioned in this form. So now, as I said that, these lines that I drew partially, which I didn't draw with thick continuous line as I did for the other ones. The reason is that by the time I'm looking at the object from the top down, this part will be covered. This part will be covered by this part of the object. So that's why we drew it, we showed that shape, we drew it partially. So what I need to do now is to make this line with short dashes line. So I'll draw it with short dashes line like this. Okay, so the same applies to this one. So I'll also draw it with short dashes line here. Okay. All right, so that's what we have there. So the next thing that we need to do is that this is not the complete plan of this of the pyramid. By the time we are looking at it downward, we are going to see part of this top around here. So what we need to do is that we need to draw that part. So how do we draw it? So what I need to do is that from this point here, so from this top here, I will project a vertical line to this point. So draw a vertical line down here. Let it touch this. Okay, so this is, so if I call this point O here, this will also be point O in the plan. So what I need to do now is to connect this point together. So I'm going to connect this point together, so with this. So to get the complete plan, also this will be connected together with point O. So this one will be a complete thick line. Because there are hedges that we can see on the on the plan on the pyramid. So also, so I will also connect this together with this point over here, and then this one will also be connected together with point O here. All right. So this is how the plan will look. Alright, this is how the plan, uh, the front elevation of uh, an oblique hexagonal pyramid, this is how it will look. So, I'm going to do the service development with another video, so let's meet on that. Thank you.